Okay, in terms of packing, both of these rifles are incredibly packable. Um, if you think for the grey man scenario or an urban scenario where you want to get from A to B across hostile terrain with unknown people um, around, you can take a, a great deal of attention away by folding these rifles down, packing them away and moving whereby they are not noticed. If you take the AR7 to pieces, which you can quickly do in less than a minute, as I say, the big gimmick of this particular rifle is it all fits in the buttstock. Just basically unscrews like so. Undo the back. The other thing that this thing does do is when the actual gun part goes in, this part goes in the buttstock, you can actually go into the buttstock with the magazine attached. There's room in the buttstock for two clips, two magazines, so you can carry three magazines here which will give you an extended uh, fireability of 21 rounds without having to load reload magazines. Thing goes in like so. Standard backpack. And it goes very easy to pack. The problem is with packing the AR7 is you can't readily use it. If you keep it all connected and ready to go, it's a bit harder to conceal it. But when it's packed into its butt, it goes into a backpack, dead easy. The little badger is even simpler. It just literally breaks in half and it will fit again into your bag. It'll fit into a laptop bag, anything. Push it down, zip it up. One bag, two rifles. Okay. But one thing I did find that putting around 40 rounds plus through this rifle it's definitely left less than 100. So 40 rounds through this rifle. Initially, the rifle fired absolutely fine. I put seven rounds in the magazine, seven rounds will go down the spout. Um, after around 20 to 30 round, um, rounds going down the, the barrel, the spout as I like to call it, it started playing up started getting jamming so what was happening breech goes back uh, the old cartridge flew out but picking up the next bullet to go into the breech kind of just jammed up the rifle you then had to unjam the rifle and by unjamming the rifle one of your bullets is now on the floor so this happens a couple of times, so by the time I got to fire in you know, the 40th round through here, I put in a magazine of seven rounds. Three of those rounds are on the floor because three of those rounds have jammed. Um, they're not rounds you can pick up off the floor and start putting back into your rifle because it scored the, the second rate, so those rounds are defunct. The only good thing about the rounds is the powder in them. Um, so start to waste in rounds. As a survival rifle, that's an issue. Um, it did not really come up to par with what I thought it would do. The other thing is, is again, after 40 rounds, when you put your finger in the breech, it's filthy, absolutely filthy. 
certainly filthier than other rifles that I've shot and I'm wondering why this is. What, and what I've come to, the conclusion that I've come to is that the chamber, this part here, is really quite large. So when the breech block is at the back of the rifle, um, the, having just shot, it's ejected the old case, but the amount of gas and shit in the breech block is quite significant, in the breech, sorry, is quite significant, where this rifle gets very dirty very quickly. When it gets dirty, it doesn't seem to want to shoot. And that seems to be the, the problem with the, um, with the jamming. So it's not something you can put many rounds down. I would suggest that the little badger wins hands down. You can take this through shit, crud, water, anything, and it will fire at the end of it. Um, and as I say, cleaning it takes about five minutes. Whereas I would imagine that if you take this, I would imagine bearing in mind, we've only just put 40, 40 rounds through this thing and it's already jamming up. I would imagine that if you take this across crappy fields, through water, uh, get it muddied up, get sand and grit into the breach, I think it's gonna, those misfires and those that jamming is going to become more prominent. So, in terms of durability, Little Badger wins hands down. The AR7 is a fun gun. It's great to shoot. Um, I love the gimmick of it folding into the stock kind of gives it that James Bond sort of quality. Um, it's certainly small enough to pack for survival. It's packing your equipment. It's light enough. I think it comes in about 3.5 pounds. It's actually a little bit heavier than the, the little badger, but three pounds, three and a half pounds is a lot lighter than an assault rifle. It's a lot lighter than a hunting rifle and once it's up and ready to go it is a fun gun to shoot um, just the last thing with firing positions when I was firing it I tried two different firing positions number one is your standard rifle firing position um, placing my hand just in front of forward of the magazine and cusping the rifle but then I find that the the actual balancing point of the rifle is around this part here, just behind the trigger guard. So you can also fire it like a pistol by cupping your hands across this very wide part of the buttstock. It's almost like a grip and fire it like so. You can also fire it as you would um, a belt fed machine gun, like um, an L a GPMG or an M60 where your firing hand cups like so, your left hand cups over the top, like so. Again, you can bring, the, bring up the accuracy of this rifle by how you hold it, um, but still it's nowhere near to what the, uh, what the little badger is. You can fire it left and right handed, you just have to watch if you're firing it left-handed that your thumb does not go in the breech. Otherwise, you'll end up with a very, um, a very blackened thumb. But if you're a left-handed shooter, there's nothing to stop you from firing it like this. And I guess that will be the safer way for a left-hand shot to fire this rifle. So that's the two survival rifles. Hope you enjoyed this video. And again, just a reminder to please subscribe hit that like button and comment on whether you have one of these rifles, whether you are anticipating going out and buying one, um, anything you want to know about um, actually owning one of these um, rifles, drop me a comment and I will get back to you. So thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Bye-bye.